Hello everybody, I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Thank you for taking the time to stop by on this video. Uh, my name is Sophia, this is Face Canvas, and right now I'm going to be turning my old tablet cover into a nice customized gift. And so the first thing that I did is, I've had this for years and years and years probably, and so this black stuff in the beginning was peeling, and so I took it all off. And these are the paints that I used. I will link it in the description if that's something anybody is interested in knowing. And also make sure if you're doing a tablet cover, and you're replicating this to take out the tablet before painting it. I almost made that mistake. My two colors that I put down as bases are this light pink color and then the second one for the lake area is a light blue grayish tone. Yeah. And I realized since this cover has a lot of texture to it, you might not be able to see it on this camera, but uh, this does have a lot of texture to it, kind of a leathery texture, and so instead of using all of this paint that I just got, like, I, I saw the receipt when I bought all of these paints. Like, I'm not trying to use all of it the very first day I buy it, and so I just moved the brush around as much as possible to get all the paint into the cracks, and that's really all you need to do. A little bit does go a long way if you work ten times harder. <laughs> and then this is the light blue shade I was talking about. Now, right now, it is 4.55 in the morning, and I'm doing voiceovers in the garage. Um, but I do really think that goes to show I am passionate about this. I'm, I'm really happy to be doing this, too. I'm happy to be awake in a garage in the cold, although I guess you can't say it's really the cold, because it's almost summertime in California. It's just the fact that there's no sun right now, but there will be in two hours. But I'm so thankful that I can be here right now. I'm really thankful that I can just go to Hobby Lobby and spend a lot of money on paints. I should not have, to be fully honest, I should not have, but I would love to start an Etsy store where I paint on clothes or tablet covers like this or just be creative. That's just so much fun for me. I really, really, really enjoy doing it and painting isn't something I do very often other than face painting, of course, but it's so relaxing and it's so freeing and it gives me joy. You know, if you're doing something and it gives you joy and you are willing to spend money you don't have on it and you're willing to stay up super late working on it and you're not getting paid for it, although if you're getting paid for it, props to you absolutely 1000%, go you, but I guess if you're struggling trying to find your passion and you don't know what it is, because that was me for a while too, I always knew I loved art, and I'm still kind of in that trying to figure out, is it do makeup that I want to do, is it painting that I want to do, is it something else, else completely entirely, who knows, but just going for what you enjoy, and even trying to find something that's bigger than you, just finding purpose in something that affects more than just you, because at the end of the day, yeah, you can go through your entire life 
and that's it. Or you can go through your entire life and change so many other people's lives and then they change other people's lives because it's a domino effect really like happiness is a domino joy is a domino you just gotta be willing to go poop although the going poop part is very hard sometimes but back to the painting that i'm doing i put a little bit of red in with the blue so make this nice kind of reddish purplish little thing because I, I love painting galaxies so much but I also really wanted to paint a sunset or a sunrise depending on how you're looking at the situation I guess but I wanted to do both because I was a little indecisive and I just decided I'm gonna put a tiny bit of galaxy over in the corner so I can have both If you're doing something right now, job-wise, and you're not loving it, and it's affecting people in a positive way, or maybe it's not affecting anybody at all, or maybe you're doing something that you absolutely love and you're just a little um, creative blocked, you know, whatever point you're at, it's a really good idea to just take a step back, pause, and think, okay, what do I love to do? Why do I love to do it? And those two questions, I believe, will help anybody out a lot. Like, anybody. Um, it's helped me out tremendously. I still don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I'm awake right now. But... I'm just very passionate about passion. And I want to create and I want to inspire, and that's something that I've just always wanted to do. I've always loved art. And that's not to say I always knew, oh, I would do this and I would go here and this is my plan for my life. It, it did not work out that way. I'm still figuring it out, and in a way that's part of the fun. Because if, if you already know everything about your future, it makes it so much boring. It's like watching a movie with all of the spoilers. It's just not as fun. Right now I'm painting little clouds and I took the water and I kind of um, brushed the bottom of it so it looks more dreamy, cloud-like, transparent. And then I really wanted the galaxy to pull through so I added a little bit more black to make it darker. And there it is. I put a little bit of glitter paint right here and I drew a name. This is pretty much it. If you liked this video, let me know and have a great rest of your day.